there's no better feeling in the game than crushing your enemies with Ningguang, and the only question remains, how are you going to build her? If you want to fully maximize Ningguang's scary damage output, there's a couple of things you can do, one of which involves a simple rotation where you initiate the fights by dropping the Jade Shield and walking through it so you can get the benefit of 12% increased Geo damage. And it couldn't get more simple than this. Since all of her damage is elemental, you want to maintain the second passive talent for as long as you can. And usually, a nice combo attack involves using Jade Shield and walking through it, then delivering 3 normal attacks, followed by a charge attack which will cost you no stamina and you unleash the maximum gems you've accumulated and then afterwards, you finish off everything with a burst. Now, this rotation changes slightly if you unlock the second constellation, which now resets the cooldown of Jade Shield, so keep an eye and drop it as soon as possible as it's off, but make sure to activate your burst when the construct is present, since the attack will gain bonus damage. Finally, if you manage to get her up all the way to her final constellation, then after the normal rotation, make sure to immediately use a charge attack for those spectacular damage numbers. Now, let's not forget that you can also squeeze out even more out of your attacks by using walk cancelling animation, which can be done very easily by simply holding down one of the movement keys and then repeatedly using your normal attack. Just keep in mind that you need to release the movement key if you're doing a charge attack or else you will remain stationary for a brief second and this could be a bug that will get addressed by the developers in the future and luckily it sometimes doesn't trigger all the time and it's mostly noticeable by those who are really trying to optimize their gameplay. But that's basically all you need to know about this businesswoman who beats her opponents senseless with her jewels and as long as you can find and maintain a combat rotation you enjoy and all Always keeping in mind that you need to pass through your Jade Shield, you will then be able to capitalize on her insane Geo Damage powers. But to make her attacks hit with the hardness of a diamond, we will need to take a look at her equipment. Every business requires you to invest in order to grow and that pretty much applies to Ningguang's work ethic and luckily for us, her expenses towards weapons are going to be profitable when it comes to deleting your enemies. And probably the best two weapons you can get your hands on will either be the Solar Pearl or Witsith that are going to help you out balance out that golden 2 to 1 critical damage to rating ratio, although if you can manage to push your critical rating to 70% from artifacts, it's better to go for a critical damage weapon like Witsith or Black Lift Amulet. Now for free to play options, there's either Mappa Mirror or Frostbear with the first option having a better passive, but on the other hand, Frostbear does provide attack percentage from its substat instead of elemental mastery compared to its rival, so if you want to have less headache trying to build up decent attack stat, it's better to go with the Dragon Spine weapon. And if you're just starting out and haven't got any of these weapons from the Gacha or Blacksmith, you can definitely use Twin Nephrite, but don't stick too long with it. Finally, when it comes to 5 star weapons, basically all of them are amazing for her, but in a rare case where you need a priority, then you first want to go with Memory of Dust, followed by Lost Prayer and then Skyward Atlas. Also, you can get more Ningguang and other character guides or useful tips, so make sure to follow us on Twitter, link in the description. Moving over to artifacts, the combination of two set bonuses of Gladiators and Arcade Petra is going to be the best bang for your Mora, and it's basically just a caveman logic to boost attack as much as possible with the set bonuses, but if you're having trouble getting decent pieces of these artifacts, you could also consider exchanging Gladiators with Noblesse Oblige to boost your burst damage. One thing to keep in mind is that this mix of set bonuses works best if you have Ningguang at least on second constellation, but a strong alternative, although harder to obtain, would be the full retracing bolide artifact set, which you should be able to upkeep almost throughout all of combat since you will be generating tons of crystals on the ground. Now if you're going to use her as your support, then you absolutely want to go for a full archaic Petra set, which basically defines the whole geo element when it comes to supporting your teammates, and the insane 35% increased damage bonus you provide to someone like your damage dealer will be an amazing thing to have. Just keep in mind that Ningguang Wang has to be the one who picks up the elemental crystal from the ground in order to activate the team-wide bonus, and if for some reason you can't obtain this set or would prefer something else, then you can go for a full Noblesse Obliged set. Finally, for stat priority, you're going to want to go with the usual, as for every other damage-centric character, which means attack percentage on sands, geo damage on goblet, and critical rating or damage on circlet. And when you're leveling her talents, always prioritize her normal attack first before you go on to burst, and then finally elemental skill, because even if you're using her as a support, you can quickly do a single rotation mentioned previously, and this becomes even more relevant if you have her final constellation unlocked, although for a more budget approach, and this only applies for her support role, you would want to only go for her burst and then elemental skill instead. So in essence, your main goal when building Ningguang's equipment would be to focus on maximizing the critical damage to rating ratio, just like with any other serious damage dealer, and luckily for us, there isn't that much difference when it comes to being either support or main damage dealer for your teammates, with the only difference being how much resources you're willing to invest into her. 
It's a known fact that Ning Wong knows how to pick the best secretaries, and it's no different when it comes to building a team with or around her. Now one thing that's important to understand about her is that because she is from the Geo element, you won't be able to boost her damage with either Archaic Petra if you were to use another Geo teammate, and the same applies to animal characters who use Verdes and Artifact set since you can't swirl Geo status on enemies. But you could look at this as a blessing in disguise since you get more freedom in not only choosing your teammates but also their equipment. And speaking of which, the best secretaries for Ning Wong are going to be Bennett, Zhongli, Xingqiu, and Venti, which all provide crucial things like increased attack from burst, decreasing enemy resistance, creating more attacks, and of course, grouping everyone in a single location. But there's definitely more than just these teammates, and someone like Fischl, Xiangling, and Albedo are obviously insanely good for her because they can leave behind attacks on the battlefield and you can then focus on crushing everyone with Ningguang's gems. And now that Geo Resonance bonus has received a serious buff, if you can allow yourself to activate this bonus, her damage output is going to get an awesome boost, especially if you do this with Zhongli, who will shred enemies' resistances even further. But this will heavily depend if you're focusing on Spiral Abyss, where you often need different elements to break enemy shields as fast as possible. Finally, when playing her as support, all you have to do is make sure to pick up the elemental crystals off the ground, so you can activate the insane damage bonus with the Archaic Petra Artifacts set, and don't forget that shields do not stack, so pick up only one crystal at a time to maintain a good defensive position. So in short, because of the way Geo Element is designed, you can boost your elemental damage damage with two most popular artifact choices of Archaic Petra and Verdescent, but you also get more freedom to define your whole team, and now that Geo Resonance has been buffed, you can get insane benefits from the Resonance bonus, not to mention there are a ton of teammates who will provide excellent support for her. There's something about Ning Wong who manages to defy all expectations you would have about Geo, since you would think this element is all about defense, but apparently she didn't get the Leo's latest corporate memo and now her best defense is offense. Overall, a lot of things make this businesswoman into one of the top choices if you're looking for a serious damage dealer, and probably the best thing about her is the low cost of her elemental burst, which allows you to spam it without almost any downtime, even if you invest just a little bit into her energy recharge. Then there's also the very useful crystallization reaction action, which you can produce ever so easily thanks to all of her normal attacks being Geo, so not only will you have a shield on you the whole time, but she's also going to have no trouble activating the Archaic Petra's damage bonus for your teammates. However, this comes as a double-edged sword which applies to every Catalyst user, and this problem becomes present if you're met with enemies who are either resistant or immune to Geo damage, and you definitely don't want to see this happening in places like the Spiral Abyss. And it's also a bit disheartening that her best weapons are locked behind Gacha or Battle Pass, and the free-to-play options from the Blacksmith are lacking to say the least. Still, it's crazy to think that she's a 4-star character because her damage output definitely outperforms some of the 5-star characters we have in the game, and one can only wonder what was the reasoning behind Mihoyo's decision to make Ningguang so accessible to everyone. Making these videos takes a lot of resources and effort, so if there's going to be any mistakes included, make sure to check out the pinned comment below the video. Also, you can help us out by subscribing and clicking the bell notification on and gently pressing the like button. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter where all of the extra details about Ningguang will be shared. And as always, thank you for your support and watching us.